Eyewitness Sports right now. Playoff baseball is here for the Utica Blue Sox and Mohawk Valley Diamond Dogs. Good evening, I'm David Edelstein. Both teams played in round one of the playoffs tonight. The Blue Sox finished first in the West Division. The Diamond Dogs landed in third place in the East. Single elimination games for this first round, and the divisions face off between themselves. So if you're looking for a Blue Sox against Diamond Dogs game, you'll have to wait for the championship if that is to play out. So the Blue Sox wind up dropping the playoff game 10-4. This despite winning all six games against Adirondack in the regular season, including the game just last night. So Utica's season has come to an end. And also in the West, the Geneva Red Wings walk off against the Elmira Pioneers 5-4. The Red Wings play Adirondack tomorrow in the West Division Championship in Geneva. And the East games, Albany defeats Mohawk Valley 9-5. Amsterdam tops Saugerties 6-4. So the Dutchmen and Mohawks play tomorrow in the East Division Championship in Amsterdam. And in high school baseball, New York Mills native Zach Brush has been awarded a position on next year's Blue Sox team. For the first time ever, American Legion District 5 and the Utica Blue Sox have decided to name a senior American Legion player to next year's Blue Sox collegiate team. District 5 Chairman Mike Michonne says he asked each District 5 team to nominate a player for consideration. Then a group of adult former players, coaches and umpires went to games to watch the nominees play before voting on a winner. Brush just finished playing for Adrian Post in American Legion Baseball. He played for Notre Dame High School and will be a freshman at Lemoyne College this coming year where he will play baseball as well. Brush and Michonne say this is an opportunity to further improve Brush's baseball skills. I'm just looking forward to the better competition, playing with a bunch of old It'll help me excel in my baseball career. I was definitely shocked. Didn't expect it. Um, there's a, a lot of good players in Legion, and I was honored to get the award. It, it's really nice. That it's the next step for any of our young players, but I think the uh, most important thing, on, it, it, kind of looking at it at a macro level, hopefully what this does is it inspires the younger kids and the kids that are coming up to strive for something that is attainable, and they can see that it is attainable. So to see that, just look out for the Blue Sox in 2020. Oh, and by the way, happy August 1st. And with that said, let's take a quick look back at the top three plays from the month of July. Number three, Robbie Young batting for the Blue Sox, hits a fly ball to right field, and Andrew Sexton trotting over underneath it. But oh my gosh, the elevation going back to track that one down and make the catch. He is pumped up after that. So let's go back a second, replay. Let's just look how high he is. He's basically like on an escalator or something. And then he makes the catch. The yellow line's right there, firing himself up, throwing that back in like a cannon. Man, probably saving a home run there, too. Play two. Hamburg playing Smith in the American Legion State Tournament. Damon Campanaro at bat for Smith. It's one to right field, where I guess is the right corner to hit things to for top plays. And, uh, yeah, this catch. Look at this. He's going full out Superman here on the dive. Uh, he gets up okay and makes the out, but... Uh, Please, someone go check on that fence. I'm, I'm not sure how that fence turned out. And the number one play in July, the American Legion State Championship Game 2. Joseph Roward hit the ball to second where it was bobbled. Nate Lockwood comes in to score, and Hamburg walks it off to win the American New York State Championship over three-time defending champion Rockland in the American Legion. What an exciting month of July. I am also very excited to see what August brings, so stay tuned here for that. That's all for sports and eyewitness news at 11 for today. So be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com and click on local sports for your top sports stories. Also follow at CNY Sports and at David Z. Edelstein on Twitter. I'll be back tomorrow night on Eyewitness News at 6 and 11 right here on WUTR. There's more news after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.